Here are six features of the Tab Ultra C that have become my daily lifelines by serving as a boon for my productivity and by providing my eyes with much needed rest from backlit screens. I'm recording these device shots in 4K and optimal lighting conditions in hopes of demonstrating the screen's true essence. Let's get the most obvious and distinct feature out of the way first, the color screen. Color e-ink is an impressive feat on a note-taking tablet such as this and was a decisive factor in me purchasing the Tab Ultra C. The color screen not only accelerated my acclimation to e-ink, but it is also a value add that levels up productivity and sets it apart from rival note-taking tablets. The color display enriches the reading experience of documents that contain charts, diagrams, or images, and it's especially handy for viewing asset-rich publications like magazines and graphic novels. The color layer is displayed at 150 ppi, which is half the resolution of the crisper black e-ink layer, but when paired with the pastel-toned and subdued colors, the Tab Ultra C offers a unique aesthetic and an enjoyable viewing experience that adds depth to most use cases. Apart from reading, the color screen expands creativity. I can sketch wireframes or storyboard with the palette of colors, color code my notes, annotate and highlight taxonomies on PDFs, and view web and app content in a way that is familiar, aka in color. Onyx offers an array of settings to customize your viewing experience, which includes screen color and sharpness adjustments, front light brightness and warmth settings, and five distinct refresh modes, from regal and HD modes for high quality, ghost-free reading experiences, to balanced, fast, and ultra-fast modes for smoother experiences at the cost of more ghosting. The relief the Tab Ultra C offers to my eyes and the level of productivity that I can hit without the harshness of the backlit LED screens or the inefficiencies of analog note-taking have converted me to an e-ink advocate. It. The screen's potential would be untapped without a way to interact with it, and the primary method of interaction here is through the pen stylus. The Books Notes app, in my opinion, is the staple of this device and a note taker's dream. It transcends traditional note taking and provides a wonderful handwriting experience. You can choose from a variety of pen brushes, each with a unique writing style and characteristics, and a palette of primary colors. Most brushes are pressure sensitive, and the pencil brush supports tilt for interesting dynamics and shading. This Notes app is packed with features beyond writing, such as AI-driven handwriting to text conversion, image placement for reference or drawing on top of, voice note recordings, a specialized word processing mode for keyboard input, which is also supplemented with a good speech-to-text feature, and a tool belt of functionality that should meet most note-takers' needs. You can create pixel-perfect lines and shapes in which you can control line widths, stroke patterns, and colors, which are extremely handy for wireframing or drawing diagrams. You can either turn the pen over to use its physical eraser or opt for using the eraser brush, both of which have multiple eraser pathways. You can choose to erase in real time, targeting specific pixels with an adjustable brush thickness, eliminate entire stroke paths with a single touch, or use the lasso selection for wiping out an entire area. Of all the tools, the lasso is particularly useful. Giddy up, cowboy. It lets you select and modify items on your notepad by removing, rotating, or resizing them, granting flexibility that traditional pen and paper can't match. You can also envelop text or objects and tag or link them. Tags allow you to categorize your note subtexts. Creating a tag will automatically perform handwriting recognition to name the tag, or you can provide a custom title. Tags can be searched and can work similarly to creating structured headings in Word documents, allowing you to create hierarchical chapters to easily navigate your notes. Links can be connected to external websites, files, etc., or other notes in your library, which is insane and allows you to essentially become a spider and create webs of interconnectedness between your notes. The features for organization don't stop there. Tucked in the notebook screen is the ability to name each of your pages, reorder them, and quickly share or export to PDF or image formats, or import into other apps for immediate use. Neo Reader is another native books app. It's an e-reader that provides all of the essentials you would expect, uh, from table of contents and pagination to font formatting to bookmarking and so on. What distinguishes Neo Reader is its seamless pen-based annotation, which grants you access to all of the pen brushes and color available in the Notes app and the ability to write directly on documents, which is saved as a superimposed vector layer. This has been a staple of my daily work tasks as it is extremely handy for QAing documents and marking them with revisions, leaving myself margin notes to consider or review later, or striking through objectives. The app enables advanced information organization, storage, and processing, 
with customizable text highlighting options, be it background colors or distinct underline styles. You can filter your highlights based on type for easy access in the future, and there's enough variation between the underline styles and color combinations that you can heavily mark up large documents without ever crossing wires. And once you've set your highlights, you can export them to text format or import directly into other apps. You can also attach text or keyboard annotations, mirroring the style of PDF comments to the highlights, which will also be exported. After you've tasted the productivity nectar of both the Notes and NeoReader apps, a new world opens up, a realm of split screen. This is where true magic takes place, merging the strengths of both apps into a cohesive workflow. With a working document open in the Reader app on one side, while the Notes app occupies the other, you can simultaneously review and annotate your document while jotting down notes. And the cherry on top, when you open notes alongside a document, that notepad is intrinsically linked to the document, which means every time you access that document in the future, your notes are only a fingertip away. This dual app functionality is now an integral part of my daily routine. I've used it extensively for reviewing work documents, building my web courses, and now expanding these YouTube scripts from my handwritten notes. As this split screen magic isn't confined to only the notes and NeoReader apps, it can be wielded with any compatible app, which makes the permutations of use case scenarios almost infinite. And they're infinite because of Android. The lifeblood that courses through the Onyx Books line and another pivotal reason I chose the Tab Ultra over contenders like Remarkable or Supernote. Android is what enables the split screen mode discussed previously, and it is also what enables the installation of the entire gamut of apps from the Google Play Store and beyond. This is what pushes the Tab Ultra C from a mere e-reader slash e-ink note-taking tablet into a fully-fledged productivity titan. Beyond reading and note-taking, you can dread over those emails you have to respond to, meander through Reddit, chat with friends in WhatsApp, or even indulge in a binge-watching session of your favorite new YouTuber. I can use apps effectively for managing projects, transferring assets from one app to another, and reviewing documents. But the versatility also allows me to hit edge cases, like tackling spreadsheets or quickly prototyping ideas in apps like Canva or Figma. Books has implemented work profiles, which allow you to clone certain apps so that you can have a copy for your personal account login and a separate copy for your work or business account login to keep your data separate. Full integration of Android promises a level of customizability and adaptability that is missing in most cobbled together operating systems for e-ink devices. It provides all the inherent functionalities from enabling Bluetooth connectivity for accessories like headphones, keyboards, and pointer devices to a deep-rooted integration with the entire Google ecosystem. If you're like me, you're entrenched in the world of Google and Android, and the Tab Ultra C becomes even more of a useful tool. While the Tab Ultra C doesn't seem to support USB-C Alt DisplayPort mode or USB-C to HDMI output, though I'm purchasing some additional accessories to further test that, the Android ecosystem comes to our rescue yet again, allowing for the device to transform into a virtual external monitor via Wi-Fi. Venturing into this, I was nudged by some of your comments and suggestions and decided to try out Space Desk first, though I've now tested a handful of apps that do the same thing. And what an experience it was. It works surprisingly well. While there's an obvious and noticeable lag with the mouse movements, which was expected, the touchscreen makes up for it. And surprisingly, the keyboard delay isn't any more cumbersome than the experience you get with the default keyboard case in third-party apps. This positions the Tab Ultra C as a viable alternative to staring at glaring screens. It's not all plug and play though, I had to make some adjustments to get this to a fully usable state. Dark mode, for instance, doesn't quite gel with the e-ink display, and it's obvious now why books devices don't have inverted or dark mode options, as the ghosting is too intense. Light mode works much better. The display resolution can be set to 1024 pixels, which was too expansive for the 10.3 inch screen, or 2048 pixels, which was a bit too compact. I found a balance in the latter by tweaking UI scaling to 150 to 200%. Should Onyx release a Tab X C model, a 13 inch version, this use case would be near perfect, offering a dual purpose color e-ink tablet slash monitor in a single product. Contrary to my initial skepticism, this external display setup turned out to be remarkably useful and it can be used with the Tab Ultra C plugged in for juice. However, no device is perfect and the Tab Ultra C is not an exception. I'll be releasing another video this week highlighting the not so awesome side of the Tab Ultra C, so subscribe to get notified when that's uploaded. And if you found value in this video, hit the like button below so that more people can see it. For those of you hungry for a bigger portion of the Tab Ultra C, you can check out my full review video here.